Hey guys, welcome back. I am super excited to dive right in. Today we are talking about fabric and why it is important to choose 100% fabric, no blends when you're shopping. Let's talk about why fabric lays differently depending on the fabric that it is. Obviously the weight of the fabric is going to be different depending on which you're buying. And when you're buying synthetic blends, the weight of that garment is going to lay differently on you. Sometimes because it's more stiff, sometimes because it's um, not as rigid. And typically I find in my experience that synthetic blends like polyester and polyurethane and elastane, those things don't wear well um, for fit, but they do last a very long time because they're synthetic. A little tip that I have for myself is when buying jeans of any kind, I will buy no more than one or 2% stretch in the jeans and I will try to stick to 99 or 98% cotton. That is so that the jeans wear very well and last a long time and I just think that the weight of that is a really nice fit. So that is one of the main examples I can give of how you know, um, the blend of a material really makes a difference when you're talking about fit. So you wanna try to switch to natural fibers like silk, cotton, linen, wool, cashmere, leather, and so on. Um, you can even go into the semi-synthetic range, which is viscose and rayon. Um, and, and rainy is a form of cotton, which you might see on a label from time to time but I always recommend that you do your research. So just like you would if you're going to the grocery store, as soon as you find a garment that you like, secondhand or retail, just uh, flip into the inner side of that garment and read what the label says and read how to care for it. Because you may fall in love with a garment that is just gonna be too hard to care for or it's not the right material uh, blend. If I'm buying one, uh, a garment that has natural fibers. So I'm buying like a wool sweater, let's say. I will really try hard to shy away from buying a blended natural fiber. So like wool and cashmere together. The reason is, guys, the reason is it will not wear well. You'll start to get lots of pilling. It's gonna be harder to care for. Like it will probably require dry cleaning. It will probably um, require for you to deball it from time to time. And who has the time for that? Not me, I'm telling you. But I brought some examples for you today. This is um, a site that you might all be familiar with. This is a sweater that is balling in the armpits. And the main reason it's doing that, even though the sweater is less than three months old, is because it is a blend of synthetic materials, AKA it's junk. When is it okay to buy synthetic materials? When is that okay? Because it's gonna happen from time to time. We can't do things perfectly, right? So we have to just make exceptions when we can. Got another beautiful example here. This is a synthetic uh, garment or blended material, or excuse me, this is a th synthetic material, but this is a designer top from Isabel Marant. I got this second hand, but the construction of this blouse versus the construction of that sweater, night and day difference. This was probably hand stitched by at some point. And the other thing is, is that although it is synthetic, it's 100% viscose. So this is quite similar to cotton. You'll see that rayon, viscose, and um, I'm forgetting the other one. I'll, I'll put it right below this video. Um, those synthetic 100% uh, materials, they do wear and last very well. So you just have to make that personal choice. I try to stay away from synthetic materials if at all possible. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is considering silk. Because I've heard a lot of people say in my time at doing closet cleanouts, um, wardrobe consulting and so on, that silk is hard to care for. Nothing could be further from the truth. Silk is actually a very durable material. It's very lightweight. It has this unique ability to be both, um, to be both warming and cooling. So if you wanna wear 
silk in the summer, it's gonna be cool to wear. It'll flow well. But if you wear it in the winter, layer up with something, you're going to experience a lot of natural body heat being generated. I love silk. I will hand wash it, I'll machine wash it, I'll hang it up to dry. And I love the way that silk lays on a body. There is no replicating that whatsoever. It's just so beautiful. And I really think that you should give it a whirl. I am I'm always looking for 100% cotton tops. I'm looking for, you know, I'm looking for wool blazers. I really try to stay away from synthetic liners in blazers because again, you're gonna get that pitting out in your, in your armpits. So I really hope that this video has helped. The next steps for you are to go through your favorite garments and kind of like go through your closet. You don't have to go through every article, but just start thinking, what are some of the materials that I've been gravitating towards and how can I start to get rid of some of those pieces that really aren't serving me anymore and maybe also have a lot of these blends in them. I hope that this has helped you and I will see you in the next video.